hello friends welcome to this new tutorial today i have here this uh, dji mini 2 and the problem on it is the arm is broken let me open it so this is the dji this is its battery and this is the arm which is broken All right, so let me open it. So as you see, this arm is broken because it's crushed against something. And today in this video, I will show you how to replace this arm. And uh, as you see, the arm is broken from here. And the problem that this little piece here is broken too, so we're gonna replace the arm with everything on it and I already got this one there are like some website they are selling these parts you can find them on eBay or Amazon but if you can't just check on uh, Google and it will find you some uh, other website that are selling this stuff so as you see the this arm will need to be installed here uh, here will need to be installed here make sure you are ordering the right arm so this is the front right the front right and uh, the same thing for this one this is the rear right and we have another one here this is the front left rear left okay so I never done this. I done it before, but uh, on this uh, DG uh, Mini 2, I never done it. So I will show you how to do it. And uh, for you, you're just gonna watch the video from the beginning to the end and see all the steps. And you may learn something from this video in case you wanna fix yours. And at the end, I will tell you if it's easy to replace. And also you will see all the tools that we may need I mean that we will need and uh, let's start so the first thing that I see here is the Phillips screws so I'm just gonna open it one by one until I reach to the inside okay so I have this uh, Phillips screwdriver it comes with the with this arm and uh, let's start so i'm gonna open these two screws here i mean these four screws one so try to be very organized and make sure you are uh, uh, like you have like uh, pen and paper so you can label everything for me i'm just gonna try to use my memory because i am i have a good experience on taking this kind of devices so i will see if i can remember sometimes even even with my good experience in taking part these devices i mean the electronic devices in general i uh, i forgot something you know but uh, anyway i figured it out Like this screw is not practical I have another one here all right so I open the these four screws let me see if I can remove this okay the the fall here this is three I think there is another one still here. Those are the four screws. So I'm gonna try to remember all the screws. So now I will see if I can remove this top from here. I'm just checking if there is like any other screws here. I don't see any. So 
so here I see that there are two screws but they are uh, I think these two screws are holding the bottom part so I'm just trying to open this from here so in this case I will, I will use this IC Sunny all right I'm still trying to remove this from here by the way I'm just trying to open this without watching any tutorials or anything they will see if I can do it without going back to the internet okay it looks like I have to remove this part here and this part uh, has two screws here all right so after I'm trying to I try to go around from here to see if I can open it I realize that there are like two hooks or clips inside here that need that they need to be clipped out for that reason I will use this tool or maybe you can use a flathead screwdriver and the clips are right here I don't know if you can see it good all right so once you release it you will see that this opens from here so I'm just gonna release it a little bit more all right so it's open then this is the other clip here I will do the same thing okay it's unclipped you when, while you are trying to uh, unclip them you will feel like you're gonna break it but don't worry it's not gonna break they are just holding this way so you are like pushing them out and uh, uh, I mean uh, let's say right I mean left then up and clip them you know all right so once you release these two clips what is holding this shell here is just some other clips here and for these other clips we're gonna use this IC semi and we will just try to play around it from here make sure don't damage the don't da don't make any signs of damage here i'm using this ic semi but for you you can use the plastic uh, spudgers or the plastic pry tools and I will, I will just keep playing around it all right it looks like i break a clip inside it looks but I think this happens because of the because I uh, because the because of the crash not because I because I didn't touch it the force that I'm using it's not gonna break that thing all right so let me see if I can release this part from here okay and then here this part here let me see I'm gonna take a look I think I need to pull it back a little bit, pull it back a little bit, and then release it and do the same thing for the other side. Oops. Mm, yeah, it's released. Let me see what is this little piece here. Mm, I think this is the, the clip. Anyway, so it's open, and once we remove this shell, uh, I think everything else here it should be easy. So this is the arm that we will need to replace and this arm has let me see okay it has these three cables are uh, soldered here on the board but there is another cable here this is the antenna cable it's going to the other side so we need to open this shell here okay to open that shell let me open this here I will open these two screws
those are in the battery compartments so all right so i open these two screws and then i will okay those are the screws make sure you put the screws back to their original spots they look the same but just make sure all right here to remove this little shell here i'm just gonna use the same method i will unclip it Okay, I remove this then we have here this metallic shield or shell it has let me see it has one screw here one here and another one underneath this is the warranty screw it has like a warranty sticker on it so once you open this one this will void your uh, insurance I mean your warranty if you have it so let's open these two screws here Okay, these two screws are not the same like the, the first ones. So make sure you put them back to their original spots. Okay, so we're gonna put this one here. Then the other screw, it's underneath this sticker. I'm just gonna poke it in the middle and open it. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I will just use my my nail and lift up this metallic shell. Ah, okay, this is working as a cooler for the motherboard. And it has this uh, thermal paste on it. So just don't touch it, leave it like it is. And now I reach to the cable that needs to be disconnected. So this, the cable that is coming from this arm here, it's going underneath and it's coming this way here this is the cable and it's going between here and it's connected here to disconnect this cable we're just going to use these tweezers and you will grab it from this part here and lift it up gently until you release it and we're just going to pull it out from here and that's it it's released so now I need to do some uh, micro soldering uh, work here. I need to desolder these ones from here to, uh, and then I will open the arm. Okay, let me turn on my uh, soldering uh, tools. All right, so this is my soldering machine. I just turn it on. And now I need to push this button here to heat it up. All right, so the soldering uh, gun is hot. So what I'm gonna do now, I will just, for this uh, for these cables here, you need to remember them. So you can put every cable back to its original spot. So the red one is on the, on all the way on the left. Then the black one in the middle and the white on the right. So I'm just gonna like make, make it like this R b w just to remember red black white all right so now what i'm going to do i will just grab this cable here with these tweezers i will just grab it like this then i will put the solder here and it's the it's uh, released then I will do the same thing for the black one and then the white all right <coughs> so now once I uh, Desolder this, so this wire need to be, I mean, these three wires need to be released from here. 
they have let me show you they have some kind of glue in this corner I'm trying to remove this glue here. <coughs> yeah, make sure you are working on the correct arm, you know. Sometimes you may just All right, so uh, let me take out this cable from here first. Okay. make sure don't damage this cable here all right i think uh, it's time to open this arm so to open this arm what i'm gonna do first i will close this then i will close the one that is broken then I'll open this one. Okay. So close this and close the one, the broken one. Then open, uh, then open the broken, uh, the good one. Okay. And then I have here these screws. I have two screws here. The I will use the Phillips screwdriver to open them. And this arm is very tricky, so you need to be, you need to be like extremely careful and try to remember how you removed it. So here in this part, we have this little piece. I just push it out and it comes out from here. And as you see, it's like this. So try to remember the position. And now I can remove this arm. And I will see if I can just pull. No, it's, it's glued very well. So I have to cut this thing here. I'm not going to cut it, but I will just use these tweezers to open this hole here. To have access under it or I mean to to loosen the I think now it should be good
okay I'm still trying to release these cables from here I have this uh, this cable I don't want to damage it so that's why I'm trying to not use any force Okay, I'm pulling it. Okay, remove the black, the red one, the black, then the white, then the other cable. So this cable need to be coming out from here. Yeah, just try to find the, the correct way to remove it. All right, so this is the arm. So exactly the way how this arm was placed here. I'm gonna just take the other one. And they will put it inside here. Okay, so let's put the cables. I'm gonna put the cables from here first. And then I will put these cables one by one. So I will put this cable inside here. So I get the cable out, but actually this cable is supposed to be behind this wire, not a problem. Yeah, I touched the thermal, uh, the blue thermal paste. So now I'm just going to make sure that these cables are going inside. It looks like I have to fix this. So I close this, then I put this one here, and then I open this arm. Alright, so now I can take this and put it inside here. This is the most difficult part by the way.
Okay, let me see if I can put it this way. Okay, so once I open it, it looks like it's fitting. But now I have to... I have to push this this way here. I need to use this. Oh, okay, so I need to close this one, then put this back, then open this, and then I will have good access to. I will I will push this one inside, and then I can put the screws. Let me put the screws now. Alright, let me see if it will open normal. Yes, it opens just normal. Alright, so now I need to... I keep touching the blue paste. So now I will just make sure I put these cables all the way inside here, this channel. And the R. So now it's uh, soldering time. So we're going to start with the red cable. I'm just using the solder that was on it. And then the black, black cable was in the middle. Then the white one.
It's supposed to use like some kind of uh, what it's called. Uh, it's called the uh, solder flux, but I don't need it because I see that it's already have some here. Now I'm just making sure that these cables are inside this channel here, and I can use. Can use this to just make sure that this thing is holding a little bit so the cable is not gonna come out that's it <coughs> all right so I think we should be good now and this is opening all the way to the front And now I will put everything back together. But before I need to connect this cable too, right? So this cable is going... I think I need to connect it first. Here. Just make sure the cable is matching its connection on the board. Then put some pressure on it to clip it. All right, so now. I will make sure that this cable is going inside this channel here. I try not to touch this blue paste, but there is no way there is no way to avoid it. Okay, so now I will just put this bracket back. And you see this thermal paste it touches here i don't know if it was there or anyway it's cooling you know yeah it was there yeah All right, guys, so now I'm going to put these three screws here. Do you remember this, this screw with the sticker on it? It was in this corner here. The good thing that this uh, device, I mean, this drone doesn't have many uh, screws. And then I will put this bracket back. Just clip it. Okay, it looks like it's not. Okay, you have to do it this way. Okay, is it good? So now we're gonna put the top shell. Before we put the top shell, we have these two screws here because the top shell will be on the way to put these two screws back.
okay so this is the top share we're gonna start from the top from here okay and then we clip the rest And that's it. It's sealed very good. And now I will just put. No, this one is not. Okay, this is good. All right, so now I will put the four screws back. Okay, the last step is these four screws. For some reason they are not magnetized so you have to put them manually here I know the reason because they are used they are uh, to not interrupt the camera Okay. All right, so the last thing is just uh, transferring the blades from here to here. Philips screwdriver Okay, need to release this little bit. Okay, now it's moving freely. Okay, I lose now. Okay, yeah, I'm good now. All right, that's it. So in the that was how to replace the 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 arm on this drone, and it will be the same thing, almost the same thing for the other uh, arms. You just need to pay attention to the details, and uh, that's it. I wish I uh, help you to uh, fix yours, and uh, if I do, please hit the thumbs up and uh, share this video with friends subscribe for more videos and if you have any questions leave it in the comment area and see you in the next video peace